am going to do a little run through of like my home organization type of things. I get a lot of messages about like my pantry in particular, about where everything's from and all that. So I thought I might just do a little video of like in depth of where everything's from. So with my home organization, I just like that everything has a home. So when it's in its home, I don't need it to be really nice and neat and like perfectly folded and everything like that. I just like that it has a place to go. So then nothing's ever out of place. You always know where things go and it keeps everything just nice and tidy. It's always easy to find things when you're looking for them and everything like that but keep in mind this is mine and Brad's first time ever living in a house so we don't have a lot of build up of things that you like accumulate over time of like living in different homes and everything like that we do have very minimal basic things at the moment so that's also easy to keep tidy and clean but yeah I just thought I would go through my little home organization and where I've got everything from and all that but let's jump into it So to start with, I am going to do my kitchen organization. So in the kitchen, each drawer has like its own designated area, of course, like every like other home usually. My favorite like cupboard in the kitchen probably is underneath the sink. But yeah, because that's the one that's been fully finished and we've been able to do, but I will give you a little rundown. So, so this is the little rundown of my cupboard underneath the sink. Everything has its little home. These containers up here are actually smaller than the ones down here. So these ones I got from Howard Storage and I think it's called like the eye storage containers, eye storage cubes. And yeah, so then they're smaller because the pipes at the back couldn't go any deeper. So that's what these ones are. I keep my dishwashing tablets, cleaning wipes, sponges and washing liquids all up there. And then these ones down below are from Kmart. They are the fridge containers, but they're just bigger. So they're all overall all bigger. So I keep paper towels and bin liners, but obviously need to stock up on them both because I'm down on them. And then I have these glass sprays. I like to keep all my sprays in their own individual glass bottles, just so it keeps it looking tidier and neater and everything like that. Because if you have a lot of different bottles, it can sometimes make it look a bit messier and everything like that. But yeah, they're glass and everything like that. I got these from either Little Label Co or Pretty Little Design, but I will double check and I will link it below. But yeah, and then coming into my butler's little pantry, under the sink in here is where I keep more of like cleaning stuff and everything like that. So yeah, I've got my medicine box here, um, just chucked everything inside it. It's nothing neat about like how I've stacked it or anything like that. It's just where you will be able to find everything. And then across here, I've got my batteries because you always need batteries at random times. So yeah, I've just got some batteries in here. This one still has the tag on it. So that is what it's actually called, handled fridge basket. And that's from Kmart. And then down here is just all random cleaning products. So like vinegar, gumption, dusting wipes, the wall cleaners, Mortine pug spray, um, and all that stuff. And then I've got my co-cleaning universal liquid down here as well. But like, as you can see, we still have heaps of empty areas just cause we don't have a lot of stuff. But I'm sure like when we move houses and like get older and everything, we'll just accumulate more things, but yeah. So then for like our pantry storage, I always keep my bread in a little bread bin. It looks nice. And then it also just keeps the bread nice and fresh. So this is the bread bin we have here. It's actually from Pottery Barn. It's a ceramic little bin with a wooden front which you can use as a chopping board you keep your bread in there and yeah moving on to inside our pantry i get a lot of questions about this because it's very neat but i've just found that it's so easy to maintain so it's so easy to be able to find everything be able to know what you need when you go to the supermarket it just keeps everything nice and tidy and it keeps everything pretty like fresh because they're all in containers and not sitting out with open packets and stuff like that but yeah, I'll go through now what it, where everything's from and what they are and all that. So for my food storage, I use all click clack containers just because I find they keep everything really fresh. They're really easy to use. You can wash them and everything like that. Also, they come in like starter packs. So I got two 10 pack starter packs, filled everything up and then figured out if I needed different sizes and things like that because there is so many sizes to get. So over here is all my baking ones. I use it for like plain flour, self-raising, all that type of stuff. So eventually I will get some more and fill the gaps and add some more things in but for now that's what I store all my like cooking needs in so this side over here is where I store all my rice pastas and cereals and things like that they are all different click clacks again and I will eventually 
get more and fill them up as we go along. Then down here, these are all the smaller, medium sized click clacks, and I just draw the muesli almonds like lollies and biscuits and things like that in these ones now for my little lazy susans i find they're actually amazing for corner bits of like um pantries because they're always dead areas usually but these work really well to pop things on and to just be in there and be able to find everything but yeah they work really well for like your oils your sauces and like your condiments and everything like that so the top one is just where all our condiments are and so easy to spin they're actually from Ikea they both are and I've got one up the top and one down here and this one is for oils and sauces and salt and pepper and stuff like that and then over here I have a little spice rack for my spices this one is also from either little label co or pretty label design or something like that I will link it down below yeah they're good because they are glass airtight and I will eventually label them to say what spices they are but I know what they are for now Coming down to my third shelf, I just have all these little um, wire containers. They're from Kmart, but I'm pretty sure you can buy them from Bunnings as well. But I use these for all like packet things that won't really stay around for long. So all the click light containers I use for things that like last a while, whereas things like here, I'll use for like packets of chips, which we eat usually within a few days or something like that. So they're not gonna last for long. So I just chuck them down here. So down here, this one is for snacks. So like chips and things puppies so like dog treats and stuff fruit right now I've got avocado in there this one I haven't labeled yet but it's all my like protein and like sahi powder and all that type of stuff and then the one in the corner is for our plastic bags reusable plastic bags and then very lastly on the bottom we just have these Kmart baskets we just use them for school snacks because Brad takes snacks to work um, more cooking things because I haven't got enough click clack containers so I just chuck any extras down here and just random stuff like pasta sauces and things like that we just keep in them but yeah now onto the fridge so the fridge is pretty bare because we just don't have a lot of food brad and i don't eat a lot so so in here i keep all my pyrex dishes and this is what i keep all my like salads um fruit excess like chicken and stuff in as well as like more fruit and cheese and that i just find it's way easier to keep the fridge tidy and clean if everything's in a container because it sits better as well as you can see what you're running out of so yeah i usually have pyrex dishes all along there depending on how like much food we have and you can buy the pyrex dishes pretty much anywhere i'm pretty sure they sell them at the supermarket harris scarf things like that up here i've got all these little um pull out handle containers they are from big w and they're called home containers with handles so i'll link them down below as well but i just keep eggs bananas and some fruit in them for now and then up the top i have my hello fresh usually all along there i'm still trying to find four containers though that can fit nicely here to unload all my Halloween fresh into but haven't been able to go shopping so that hasn't been done yet and then on the side of the doors i just keep all my like milks coconut water almond milk yogurts and butter and then lastly down in this drawer is where i keep all my like cheeses and stuff there's not a lot going on in this fridge at the moment because I do need to go shopping. Also, just quickly, I thought I might show that this fridge down here can be a freezer fridge, like it can be all different degrees. So right now we just use it as like a drink fridge. So we keep all our drinks and stuff in here. It's not very full at the moment. We do need to go to the supermarket. But yeah, we usually keep that fridge full of drinks. And then all here is like our little like sauces and things like that. But yeah, keep them all down below. Moving on to the laundry. So this linen cupboard is um, pretty bare. We don't have a lot in it just because obviously it's only brand night here. So we don't need a lot of sheets and a lot of towels and everything like that. But yeah, so I have all these baskets, which are all from Kmart. Each basket like holds a different things. So it will eventually get like bamboo swing tags that hold off that will say what they are. But I know for now that that's like my sheets and everything. They're beach towels, empty towels, face washes and like hand towels, more towels. They are tea towels in there, then um, bath mats empty empty and spare doona so yeah it's not very busy in there at the moment but i just find that when everything has its own spot it stays so much tidier so i'm hoping that that stays with us for a long time and i hope it like lasts but we've been in for about two almost three months now and it's lasted this whole time and it just stays nice and neat easy to find things so would recommend to get little baskets for each of like things for your linen cupboard 
100%. So now moving on into my bathroom. This is the final room that I've like done storage in. Obviously later on down the track, I will do more storage of like my wardrobe and things like that. But at the moment I've only been able to do these because things take time. So in my top drawer here, I use these containers. They're from Kmart. So they're longer ones and two shorter ones. But yeah, so then there's a little gap on the side which I leave all my braces in. This one's for all like toothpaste stuff. Um, this one's toothbrushes and like um, retainers and things like that. And they're cotton tips and cotton pads. So everything has its nice little spot and stays nice and neat. Coming down to the next one is like my hair drawer. So I've got um, a larger one to put all my hair brushes in and there's just a hair treatment in there. And then this one's for all my like after shower care and stuff like that. Got another little gap here for um, that you could put hairspray, but dry shampoo and hair ties, hair bobby pins and my clips. So everything stays nice and neat and tidy. Down in the bottom drawer is just like tampons and things like that. Now underneath my cupboard, I have a AM and PM like little container. So when I'm washing my face in the morning, I'll grab my AM out. When I wash my face at night, I'll grab my PM. Um, then I have another little, these are all from Kmart by the way. I have a, another container for all like my body things. So my deodorants, my moisturizers, my tans. Then at the back here, I've got another container just full of makeup that I use like very rarely, but will always keep, but I just keep it at the back because I don't really ever need it. Perfumes here, which I actually need to buy more of. I run out of all my perfumes. Perfumes. Then down here is my like JS Health Vitamin little section. Here I need to buy another one of them and pop that here and then fill it with all my hair stuff, but it's just my hair dryer, straightener and things like that. And at the back is just like spare travel cases and things like that. Up here is where I keep my makeup. I want to get some more of them and them to pop over here but I have my brushes and then my like everyday makeup in my makeup bag. Now, can you guess whose side this is? <laughs> so this is Brad's side. He only has like a handful of things. So I always keep some spare cleaning stuff down here just so when like there's any spills or anything like that, I can just quickly grab something and clean it up. But then yeah, spare toilet rolls. And then at the back, we did get a PowerPoint installed so that his razor and everything can always be charged. Anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. I'll link everything in where I got it from below as well. But yeah, that's just what we've done with like storage so far. Obviously, as we keep living in this and doing more, we will add more. But at the moment, that's all we've done. But yeah, I'll link everything below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.